Hey guys, this video shows our experience removing a Tesla Model 3 battery pack. So there wasn't much info on the web about this, so we were kind of learning as we went along. Uh, the job was a little bit tougher than I expected it to be. You'll definitely want a lift and someone with a high level of mechanical ability uh, if you plan on doing this anytime soon. We started out taking apart some of the interior because some of our research said there were a few bolts underneath the back seat. Other than that, we really didn't know to what level we'd have to take apart the interior. Uh, but there's about 15 bolts or so throughout the carpet that have to come out aside from the back seat, which you're going to see right here. So here are the four bolts one, two, three, four. We're removing the main power disconnect. Positive terminal, a couple little harnesses here. Got some battery undercarriage bolts. Here. You have to remove these bolts on the plastic rocker panels first, and then the entire rocker panel can actually be pulled off of the side of the car to expose the real bolts that actually hold in the battery. There are a number of coolant lines that run through and around the battery pack. It seemed like just every time we thought we had the last one off, another one would pop up on us. So be diligent, make sure you get them all. There's at least seven to eight of them throughout the car. Running from the front to the back, finally fell. It's got a little harness right here that held it up. That finally just fell down. We're kind of wondering what to do with it, so let us down anyways. Uh, we got our side rail pieces off. And you can see the main bolts holding up the battery pack all the way around now. So we kind of had to put it down on the ground, move the stands in, and you got these bolts all the way around holding it in. Once we get the cold line system connected, we're trying to disassemble it. So that piece of ramp from the front to the rear just came down, powers all the way back. Never wonder where your Tesla oil filter was. Got it right there. No more fluid lines. No. <laughs> I sure hope not. <laughs> There's main power back to the rear motor. You see just one little quick disconnect right there. And now the rear part of the pack. Part of your suspension. Okay. You have yep. to take these two bolts out. Okay. Take this bolt out. Yeah. Remove the bracket and then put this bolt back in. Okay. And it's on both sides for the rear. Okay. The suspension just drops. Yeah. You get the bracket. Oh, we got you, bud. There you go. Yeah. Get the bracket out of the way and put the bolt right back up in it. More man. More man. 
Same thing on this side. Yeah, so that whole suspension flex up in there. Something else holding it. Okay. But the weight of that battery, it ain't just glue. Um, it's gonna have to be something from the inside. Passenger side. Good rest. Should be it. Check this out. Look at this note from the production. After all the talk about the Model 3 production hell, I found this note attached to the floor of the carpet. And I just found it kind of hilarious, and it makes me wonder, you know, what they could have been trying on 10 vehicles. All of them are out of this side. Where are they? Just underneath here? Yeah, there's just uh, some bolts holding One there. here, one here, one here, there are two. There's one up under that seat, and then there's two up front here. Okay. All right, so this side is clear. The other bolt's clear. Got the seat out. It's a total pain in the rear. But it's out. So we pop one or two more bolts out under the carpet, and the battery just fell right on down. It dropped down about half an inch or so. Once we got the last bolt, a lot of bolts underneath the carpet. Basically, got to take the entire interior out. Both seats got to come out and get to the carpet. couple things to separate and um, give it a good look real quick I'm pretty disc all right I see a couple I see one coolant line on the front that's kind of hanging Go power some homes. Let's do it. Woo, baby! That was that was not quite the easiest task. Oh no. So just to give you guys an idea. These are all the bolts and the undercarriage that we're dealing with. So just all really all through all through the carpet, entire interior has basically got to come out. Underneath, of course, see all the way through, straight through the subframe there, up into the cabin. Pretty cool. That battery pack, man, dropped out. Test them all three. Gonna see what we can do with this bad boy. 